Hello YouTube and welcome to another edition of Steel Speaks and today I am casting another tournament match from the Supreme Commander 2 STA tournament. Today I am going to be casting the semi-final best of three Way Station Zeta Coalition Shipyard and Arctic Refuge match. I ripped off the outcome so you there will be no spoilers to this although in my highlight video you may already have seen where my cursor is circling the outcome to the nuclear pizza and polar bears match but today we are doing the Damasi versus poker face match let's see how these players get on and check it out you will not be disappointed hello everyone and welcome to the semi-final match between Damasi and Pokerface of the STA Subcom 2 Training Academy Tournament. This is your host, Mr. Celia Girl, coming from Steel Speaks. The first match shall take place in Waste Station Zeta, and let's see how the players are spawning in. And Pokerface is the Blue UEF doing a research opener with two land factories. That is a really strong opener and it appears he is putting down some more eco. Let's take a look at his opponent and that is Damasi doing an air factory and two land factories. I think he did the air factory first but with this ACU that is very very interesting. It looks like he's trying to rush air superiority or get an early scout and he is getting a 1p gen that is not bad at all, but I do feel Demasi may have the advantage on the ground. I am going to pop up the speed as the players get this rolling. And it appears Demasi's doing a very wise thing and he is expanding to a very secure location. These four mexes, this is a 2v2 player map, but it's oftentimes played as a 1v1 map in tournaments and I ah here is the scout from Damasi as you can see it's queued up to make a little turn right above the commander it looks like he sees everything coming back home sees the two land factor factory opener with the research station and Damasi himself is building up resources in that very safe area that is going to give both players lots of free resources they may want to slow down on that to build factories but who wants to do that when you could be rich um poker face built three p gens very early on that is going to afford for easier expansions later but that may be a little early for three research stations and it appears poker face research the fortified artillery that is quite an interesting choice here on this map and what is that is he trying to build a trying to build an, an, an AA tower that's an not a bad choice because he saw an air unit but that is a big waste of mass considering there's only one air unit on the field and Damasi's moving up, putting a radar right there in the center, which is very nice for the Aeon race because they don't have very, really great radar. He could now see into his opponent's base. That is an excellent, very nice, I like very nice, get over it, an excellent thing to do. And Damasi researched some things. Let's see, what is he doing? He got weapon range. That is a very good idea against the UEF. He will have more range than his opponent. Let's see how this goes. Yes, it appears he does have a little bit more range. I don't think Poker Face researched weapons range. And there it is. Now he could fire back. Looks like Damasi is a little bit ahead of on units. I, I may, I'm not sure, but it looks like his blob is a bit bigger. Very nice micro there by both players, keeping those units behind that ACU to tank up lots of damage. Let's see, 17, about 1700 on poke, 
500 on 17,000 on Poker Face. And about, ooh, Damasi's ACU's HP is dropping very, very fast. He's down to about 1,100, 1,200, 12,000, excuse me, I can't, I can't read for the life of me. Um, Poker Face might want to consider moving those units behind him, but he is, is successfully driving Damasi back. Damasi is pulling up some shachas. That was what the research he did that I may have missed. I think those shachas should have been further back, but they did their job, so who am I to tell what to do? And a long range point defense, I don't know if that is the right decision right now. And Poker Face is very wisely reclaiming the spoils of war, getting his economy boosted. That is a very wise decision. And it looks like he cancelled that AA tower. I think that was the right thing to do. And he's getting another research station. Is that even being built? Where is that engineer? It's not... Oh, there's the engineer. Okay, got cancelled. His ACU is being repaired. That's a wise decision. And Damasi is putting down a land factory with a shield, a shield upgrade. I like that idea. And a land factory goes down for Poker Face. That is very nice. And those shachas are free to just rain, rain hell on those poor Rockhead tanks. It appears Poker Face is quite ahead on, uh, not quite ahead. He's he's ahead on resources by. Uh, two maxes at least and that isn't even queued up that that engineer is just hanging out not doing what he's supposed to be doing and it appears Damasi's repairing his commander as well that is a very very wise decision and in comes a fortified artillery that is going to create an interesting dynamic and that was an excellent idea using the, the hardened right at that moment as that that squad of units just gets annihilated halfway annihilated they had to retreat, retreat very wisely so for Damasi now it appears Damasi needs to start getting out the Fishuth the MML the mobile missile launcher of the Aeon to break this area but they are tanks to prevent that. That is... Poker Face is in a really good position considering this is a nice little choke point. And that engineer is just going to... Yeah, that's really unfortunate for that engineer. But it appears Damasi still has one. He's up by two research stations. I think he's down by one... By two factories. But only one of those factories is really producing. That air factory in Damasi's base is not is not producing but that fortified artillery is it's very annoying it's just going to and here it goes it's going to probably harden no it it did it but uh i think poker face may be trying to bait out that hardened artillery attack he's gonna need more mobile missile launchers to break this position but it appears he's content with blast oh there's the harden and several of those shachas and we do boats eat it. Oh man. That range is quite far on that. And another and that appears uh poker face is putting down two power generators. The fortified artillery is very, very power intensive. Some of those 40 shells are landing right in the center of that force. It is quite unfortunate for Damasi. He needs to really micro, and the demolisher has been researched by Poker Face, the mobile artillery unit by from the UEF. That will add a new dynamic to this little choke point right here. I think that is a great, great decision there by... Damasi getting out those mobile missile launchers to take shots at the shield at least. And it appears he was wise enough to take out that radar, so forcing Poker Face to build another one. 
And, ah, oh, that hardened artillery just eats those units alive. I like what I see here from Damasi, this little flanking force moving on up into Poker Face's base. I, he really needs to commit to that because that would that may even turn this turn this match around. Little point defense, discouraging an attack here from from Poker Face, and I do believe Poker Face is being very wise taking out that that radar. I think this might be a bit of a mistake here for Demasi wa walking out on this area, though it may be have been a difficult area to hold. But the flanking, the flanking units would have wreaked havoc on Poker Face's, on Poker Face's economy. I like the fact that Damasi built some air units and some more research stations going down from Poker Face. He is definitely wanting, what did he research? The gas cannon and anti-air gun on the... Now it appears that flanking would be almost pointless unless it's all mobile missile launchers because now those mass extractors for the UEF have, just like that, has the AA tower as well as a point defense. So that's going to be a really, really tough... This is going to be a really tough shell here to break. But that's actually quite a good idea, the uh, tactical missile launcher from the Aeon, that has got lots of range. Um, let's see where what he targeted, let's hope he picked a really good first target, because these missile launchers are very strong, it gets absorbed by the shield. Getting two would be very helpful, and there are more power generators because of this, these uh, tactical missile launchers are very energy intensive. really should be focusing down land factories to keep the the sharpshooter just as I was afraid would happen. Poker Face researched the sharpshooter which is the anti-TML which will shoot down, oh down goes a fortified that is an, an expensive loss there and out comes the first sharpshooter which is going to help mitigate the damage done here from that well a second well tactical missile launcher still going to be mitigated the damage is still going to be somewhat mitigated here a second sharpshooter goes up that is going to defend this area quite well poker a, a disruptor disruptor station an experimental quantum distortion artillery unit that is going to be a major game changer that is going to wreak havoc pretty much everywhere on the map for Dema uh, Poker Face will be able to wreak havoc all over Damasi's base. And three tactical missile launchers, that is really, really nasty. He really need needed to focus down those land factories earlier. He should have built those three tactical missile launchers and hold fire on them until he was had all three at, at the same time. So he could pretty much one or two shot these land factories. That would have almost, kept, maybe even would have gotten him very having a good chance at victory i almost said guaranteed but nothing's guaranteed with that disruptor disruptor station in play those air units are almost useless health cause um those air units are almost useless with that um a shield generator by poker face i wonder what he's going for but those air units are almost useless because of the AA. And that noise in the background, everybody, is my cat climbing on a cat tree. I apologize, but get over it. I have two kitties. They are very sweet animals. And those air units are just going to get fired at. That He's probably looking for something nasty. But there it is. There's the nasty shuffling disruptor station. Ah, taking out a giant putting a huge hole in those in that big blob of units right there oh, goodness look at that gigantic hole um, 
Damasi is going to pretty much lose this blob if this continues. And it appears Poker Face is going all air. I don't know if that's the right decision with all that AA in play. And Nuke Defense, and it appears Damasi is was researched the Bullet Tooth. Um the Aeon Gunship. I don't if he gets like 50 of them, then maybe. You go for a straight snipe. And it, appear, it appears... Ah, Damasi. Did he build a shield? Yes, he built a shield just to protect his ACU and a nuke defense silo just in case. And he's getting air. That That is a wise decision. Damasi is... Uh, that, that, um, that gunship attack is not going to work. I, I really don't think that's going to work now that there's air on the field. And I think he might be even putting out AA units. There's at least, um... I don't know if there's AA units yet, but Poker Face... In research income, jeez, he is way ahead on research. Energy income. He's already got this large thing of energy generators with a... Um... With an engineer just chilling. As the Masi is trying to... Build up an air force. I really... Ugh, all those tactical missile launchers. What a waste. Those are very expensive units. Um, I, I don't agree with this, but this is what he thinks is the only way he could get out of it. Maybe he's right. I'm, I'm not the health and regeneration for the UEF ACU. That's going to be a real tanky ACU. Giving him up to 25,000... Uh, hit points. That's nice. I don't think this is the right thing to do, but this may be the only. I, I'm not playing, so I don't know what Demasi was going through. What is going through Demasi's mind? Hunker and Hunker effectiveness for Poker Face. I don't know what's going through Demasi's mind. So, ugh, those unit. No, it, not aiming for the units, but um, I don't know what's going through Demasi's mind. It's very easy to say all this stuff when I'm zoomed out, but. Being a player in the game, it's totally different. Um, these air units look good in theory, but they're countered. Oh, look, there's AA units on the field right there. There's the Anarchist. Arc. Arcanus? Ah, whatever. I'm not really worried about pronouncing it. It's the mobile AA unit, so that is going to be a very tough area to, to crack with all those AA units. Poker faces health one. Health 2 and training on his ACU. So his ACU right now has 40,000 hit points. And with double hunker, there's no way. And I like that radar there from Poker Face. Right there, that, that radar. And there's a scout. Look how fast this unit's going to go down. That air unit didn't really get very far. And I like that radar. I really do. That's going to allow... Poker faces see everything. He leave me capacity. I don't. I really don't agree with this, but there are a lot of gunships. So, Fat Boy. It appears um, Poker Face went for the Fat Boy. We'll see if he actually builds one. Damasi's moving his ACU way up here. I don't know if that radar could see it, but. The Masi's base is just getting shelled practically to death. He lost a land factory, an air factory, three tactical missile launchers, and a research station. I think I just saw damage on units being researched from Damasi and teleport. I mean, not Damasi, research damage from units and teleport. That is actually quite a good idea because he could just teleport these AA unit, air, excuse me, air units right over the commander and, and hopefully get a snipe because those gunships could get under the shield immediately. But Poker Face got anti-air on all those units. That This is not going to be worth it. They don't even have chrome shield or halo redirecting flares. Ah, oh, look, is this doing a move? Is he going to, those wasps are already doing work. Is he going to move in with the teleport? Ah, oh, there it is, and they're right over the ACU. 
going for a snipe. Double hunker. And it, there's not a lot of damage going on poker face. Those, uh, yeah, the training isn't going to really help. And those AA, those uh, gunships were just completely, in, completely annihilated. That's, I think that's it. I, I don't know how Damasi's going to come back from this. Lots of his base has already been eaten away. And there it is. He control Cade, and there is that beautiful, gorgeous commander explosion. Very well played there, Damasi. You did very well. The snipe was your last resort, it seemed. And poker face, very nice in hunkering down and having this very nice base. Let's move on to the next match in the series. Alright, thank you for sitting through this loading screen. I do not want to edit all these buildings. I got invited to play Supreme Commander 2, Reese. I am not playing. I am casting. Thank you for trying, though. Um, thank you for sitting through the loading screen. And this is match two of the semifinals from the STA tournament. And it appears both players are Cybran. Damasi is the white Cybran up north, starting out with a... Is this ecoing up? And to the south, his opponent, Pokerface, doing a one research station, and he is going early, early power. He is expanding. I don't, I don't know if I like that expansion route from that from those uh, engineers, but he's the one playing, so let's see how that works out. And it appears Damasi is going a double research, triple research station opener. That is quite risky. I'm going to pop it up to plus two. Let's see how this hat works for both players, see how they get this game rolling. You know what? I'm going to pop it up to plus three while they're building Four, I, I lied, I put up the plus four. And two land factories going down for Poker Face. Probably going to bot, get some bots up in there. And a radar. I do like the radar being built, that is a very nice move. Energy generator from Damasi. And those, that engineer is on vacation, and it appears there is a a radar, he doesn't have the mass or energy for it at the moment. That is always frustrating. Poker Face is moving his ACU to the center to gain some tactical advantage. And Damasi's just chilling. Just having a little smoke break. Just chilling in his base, doing um, cybern stuff, you know? Just cybern stuff. It looks like they like to just chill in their ACUs and maybe, uh, I don't know, read comics. I don't know. Whatever. I, I, I don't have anything for that. But um, Poker Face is doing the wise thing and trying to flank him. He sees that there is nothing in the center and he's going for a flank. I like the Cybern flank. Let's drop the speed down to 2 so I could keep up with the, so we could keep up with the action. I can almost guarantee, oh, the fourth research station goes down, so that's what they do. They wait until they have the mass to build a fourth research station. I bet you he's rushing, I could bet you anything that he's rushing nano gun. That is the only logical thing that could be rushed. And a, is that another radar? Another radar. Is that a point, ah, oh, point defense for Damasi. He doesn't want these two units to mess up his plans, and another point defense those two units are not going to be able to mess up his plans unless he has polar bear-like reflexes to out-micro those rapid-fire point defense. And Damasi's pushing in. Nonchalantly walking in there. Just, just an ACU. Nothing suspicious going on here, Poker Face. Nothing at all. And there's the shunt. And down, down goes a poor little loyalist. He should be suspecting something since that radar should be able to see into his base. There is no units. 
Poker face, you really, really should be suspecting that something fishy is going on. Now down go the two land factories in Damasi's base. I would have that land factory closer to those point defense to put shields on them if I had to dig in, but it's okay. And there's the nanobot weapon for Damasi, and here he comes, walking in there with just... Nothing fishy's happening here, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry, bro. Nothing ha nothing fishy. Just kidding. There it is. The nanobot weapon. Very wisely walking underneath the... Oh, ground fire. I like it. I like it, Tomasi. The ground fire is hitting the units regardless of their un them being under the shield. And I believe Tomasi put down... Has... Oh... That ACU is getting hit to the face. It's damage over time, man. And these land factories have the missile launcher capability. It appears Damasi's land factory shield is holding up. I mean, excuse me, Poker Face's land factory shield is holding up. And uh, Poker Face's tactical missile launchers on the units are just aiming for the ACU. Ow, that took quite a that did quite a bit of damage. Uh oh. Sorry about that. What a fingers for me. And I don't think that's a good idea there, Damasi, getting uh, shot in the face with rapid fire point defense. That that's quite painful for an ACU or any unit really. But the Cobra, I like it, Damasi. I like it. That is a the wisest course of action at this juncture and a point defense in the range of another point defense I don't I don't find that to be the right thing to do but he might not have seen it and it's she's attempting to repair Are those Cobras at firing on that point defense no they're just sitting there having a having a little break and a flank there from poker face taking out that point oh and a structure Deto just took out that entire group of units that is a very unfortunate miss micro there from poker face and a very very nice pickup from for Damasi there that is an excellent 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 um structure detonate and those two loyalists there are just chilling they're free to terrorize this poor little engineer and a land gantry went down. I, I like that, but I don't. I really don't think it's gonna work out with Damasi just blapping away at Poker Face. But there's a point defense somewhere around here. It should be. Oh, down it goes. And Poker Face wisely is trying to walk away from this. And look at those cobras. They're just gonna one shot that probably. And there it goes. Damasi got movement speed. That's 50%. He's 50% faster than Poker Face's ACU. He's going to catch up to him without a problem. And those loyalists there really just don't do it. <laughs> they're, they're not going to last. And that engineer will be, oh, the pit caught up to him. Poker Face is just getting plummeted with those nanobot weapons. And that's a nice place for a point defense, but I don't think it's going to get done in time. Damasi gets in the range of Poker Face. Poker Face is wise enough to know when his ACU is just about to pop. You're too close, Damasi. You need to run away. You're getting too aggressive here. And boom! I Just as I suspected, both players go up. That is a draw. Very well played there, Damasi. That was a... Nasty thing there. I know it says Damasi wins, but tournament rules dictate if both ACUs detonate, the match must be played over again. That was an awesome comeback there, Poker Face. Well, not a comeback, an awesome, awesome thing keeping from getting a loss by forcing a draw. Let's see the next match. Thank you for sitting through the loading screen, everybody. I know it's somewhat annoying, but... It allows me to say, this is match two played over again of the semifinals between Damasi and Poker Face of the STA tournament. And 
This is Coalition Shipyard. I don't know if I mentioned that the first time. And Damasi went, I like, believe, build cost. Yes, he's definitely UEF. And Poker Face is just building a base. And again with the three P gens early on. That's really good for early expansion, but I, I suggest two because you don't need as much these days because the mexes are now they only they only cost half. Damasi's the white UEF to the north doing an air factory opener, and Poker Face is the blue UEF to the south doing an air factory and a is that a, a naval naval factory? Uh, I don't know about that. If it doesn't get scouted, that may work out, but chances are it's going to get scouted considering there is an air factory in the field. I'm going to put it up to plus four because nothing's really happening but base building. And it appears Damasi really wanted that air factory so because he rushed out that one air unit. I'm going to bring down the speed once again. I am sorry for that. I just want more action because... We have to get through several games. And there is the scout in the interception of the scout. But you still saw that naval factory. That It's a sea factory, but I, I'm going to call it a naval factory. That's kind of a bummer. And I, I'm pretty sure a cruiser is coming out because that's the only logical thing. And now Poker Face is going to uh, scout himself. Not scout himself out, but scout for himself. He's going to check out Damasi's base. And now there's a late energy generator. That is a good move. I like Damasi's build there very, very much so because of the power. It doesn't You don't need that much early on. He's going to need land factories. I would have built land factories much earlier. That scout is not going to make it out of there alive unless those two wasps don't pursue. But of course they will. Maybe that wasp is going to go ho get home. Huh. Unless it's... Oh, there it does. It makes a fatal mistake. It veered so that the other wasp is able to catch up. And down it goes. Those four wasps are coming in to take out that one. That is a actually quite a nasty loss for Damasi. He has now he's got half the air units, no less than half the air units. And there's the cruiser. This is I thought. The, a, a mastodon is let's see where it's queued to go. Right there. I do I think he should queue it to go right in this vicinity. And if I was Poker Face, I would take all those air units to wipe out my opponents and start bomber production. I don't know what his ACU was thinking about doing, because there's a there's a point defense. I don't think that was the right thing to do. But you need to get down a land factory. I would su I suggest back here somewhere. Oh, well that's a little too close to these facilities. They are there's two tier one. And I, if they get Tactical Missile Launcher on there, it's going to... And then even MMLs up there. I think there's a Tactical Missile Launcher upgrade going up. I, I can't tell for sure. But that's going to be able to freely blap away at this factory. Let's see what is going to happen. That point defense is discouraging Damasi's... ACU, that is a very good thing. Up oh, there it is. The tactical missile launcher. And that uh, point defense. That's going to eat up a lot of time for that ACU right there. That ACU is going to be nursing that point defense with each MML. 3 to 1 factory ratio. I don't I don't think that's very good. And there's the meteor. I, I knew that was going to happen. Damascus researched the range on his land units. That meteor is going to knock that land factory out very nicely and the mastodon is taking ages to get to its location that is a very good location for it and bombers are out for poker face i i don't think he's going to be able to use them because i think there's there's an aa tower on that one land factory and they all have in factory missile um factory tml with those two meteors, that, I can't believe that point defense is still alive. 
that Damasi's walked into the no man's land, and very wisely so, Poker Face reclaims it. You need to run away because that factory is going down. I think this game, this is game. I think that's it. Um, I don't think that cruiser is going to really turn the tide that much at this point. That land factory is not going to be much help. That point defense, it, it's going to go down very quickly. I mean, this is I, again, it's very easy for me to say because I'm not playing. Um, there is really, I don't think there's much he could do, Poker Face could do. He's been cut off by the ACU. That point defense went down, and Damasi's ACU has training on it, giving him 25,000 maximum HP. And Damasi falls in below 1,000, and boom, down he goes. Very well played there, Poker Face. You uh, held on quite nicely, but Damasi was just able to overrun you, and he's still alive there with about 14, 13,000 hit points. Very nice pickup there. Very good. Now it, this gets to game three, so let's check it out. This is quite exciting. Let's see who wins it. This is the fourth match, but it's actually game three of the semifinals of the STA tournament between Damasi and Pokerface. I say that again just in case somebody is uh, clicked into the video and was all like, oh, I wonder what's happening. So I'm just letting you know. The third match is Arctic Refuge. This is another 2v2 um, 2v2, 2v2 map, and it's often played 1v1 in tournaments. Let's see what the players are. Damasi is the white UEF, starting out with a air factory, and Poker Face is the blue Aeon, doing an air factory again with the three P gens. It seemed to be working pretty pretty well for him. But I feel like that is mass that could go elsewhere. I really think two would be would be ideal later on. Of course, put down P gens as as needed because expansions. I like to have a P gen for at least every factory that I have. I'm gonna bump bump it up bump it up to four until something happens. There's a scout going off there for Damasi, and I like that uh, radar placement there from Poker Face. I, I think that factory should... I'm going to slow it down, to see if there's anything... Ah, so Damasi gets a very nice scout. That is an excellent thing. Now he can see what his opponent's doing. He doesn't have. He knows he doesn't have a land factory. Did that scout get away? I don't think it did. And it appears... Uh, Damasi's still up in air. I think that land factor should go over just a little bit more to protect that radar. Is that radar done building? Or is... I think it is done building and I just saw that build animation around the mechs. Poker face gets the Shacha. Hmm. That could be very powerful on this map. And a land factory for Damasi. He's moving up his ACU and very aggressively. I don't. I. I think I kind of. I, I like the idea, but he really should be going for that factory. Maybe forcing a control K by capturing it. And oh, that is an awful place, Damasi against Aeon. Their long range point defense. And again, I'm watching the game from afar, and he's playing it. He doesn't see all this. This is going to be an excellent bombing run. And that mobile missile launcher is done. This is a very secure area now. Poker Face should really reclaim that and dispose of that half-built land factory. And I think that's what the ACU is turning around to do. Very nice. Very smart moving and not getting hit from those uh, meteors. It appears that um, they're pretty even in terms of eco. And I believe with this next one, Poker Face is this one right here. He's going to pull away an eco. And that land factory, that 
partially built land factory just goes down. Um, Damasi really should, instead of putting down a point defense, he should have built another factory. And he doesn't have a radar. Oh, no. Oh, that's... That's really, really going to make things rough for Damasi until that radar goes down. I do like the structure placement, though. Shields are going to afford a lot of protection over that mech, that, um, that radar installation, and, and all the units that just want to hang out here in this little this center. It's going to be really strong against those Shachas if, if Damasi could stay alive long enough. It appears that Damasi has air superiority. I'm not completely sure. They're, they actually look quite even, so disregard that comment. Those shotchas are going to get free shots off. Damasi gets weapon range. That is a very, very good thing to have against those shotchas. Though, the, though those shotchas easily outrange, it, it, every bit of range helps with the units trying to catch up. I do believe he should have uh, try to get the Molishers, get the mobile artillery. Ah, Damasi is just taking fire to the face. The sniper bots are doing so much damage. He had to he forced a, another point defense and a shield structure, not a shield structure, a shield over those Factories. I like that point defense now. It is getting a nice little flanking shot. And two point defense are going to definitely force Poker Face to back on out of there. And Poker Face has, is pulling away an eco by one or two at this point. I think it's by two, actually. And another land factory, Poker Face, is up by one land factory as well. Masi is definitely behind, but he needs to get that ACU from being in harm's way. That is very, very wise, because those mobile missile launchers were getting there. Poker Face gets health and regeneration on the units. That is the right thing to do. I'm trying to poke in there, but those point defense are... Keeping those shotches back. I don't know why. There, that's what you need to do there, Poker Face. You need to kick back and let your... Ah, Damasi's getting the demolisher. Right? That is the right thing to do. That is going to make this a very nice little defensive choke point. And those mobile missile launchers need to focus down. They just need to chill out and focus down those... Point defense, because it'll be only a matter of time until you could walk in there and just mow this area down. Nice little scout there from Damasi. I, I, I do like constant scouting. I find that to be one of the best things you could do. Let's see if those demolishers pay off. Damasi's pushing in, keeping those sniper bots. Oh, the sniper bots turned around, and uh-oh... Where's your air, Damasi? No spl- Ah! Oh, no split means your blob is just getting eviscerated. That was a very nice bombing weapon, from Poker Face. And the sniper bots are just going to be free to rush in there and do lots and lots of damage. Just terrible damage. It, no point defense. I don't see why he's backing up. He should just push in. There are not enough demolishers there to do any significant damage to this land force. But I do like the micro anyway. That's going... And there is a point defense behind the factories. That's not a bad idea, but I don't think it's going to be enough to shoo this force away. This force is going to be able to outrange that point defense and take out the factories anyway. And down goes the factory. Down goes that point. That point defense didn't last even a second under fire. Maybe one second. I don't know. I'm not going to get into semantics or, or technicalities of the of the ordeal, but that ACU is just going to get hunted down and popped. Let's see what his health is at. About 10,000? Just a few more. Oh, that is a lot of health taken off. I'm going to slow it down to watch this. Oh, looks like he's 
going back with his units, so let's pop it back up. Bombers, the Eagle Eye from UEF, that's not going to do much. It's not going to stop this, this group of units coming in there just to wipe out that air factory. Oh, the, oh those are core mechs that it, they're... I don't know if they're fully upgraded yet, but they're really... They, they are worth a lot right now. That is very unfortunate. Poker Face has the anti matter Chrome Shield. I don't think much is going to... There's not much that's going to phase that army. I think Damasi is going to have to pray for a disconnect or a major mistake. Poker Face is moving his units on in. Let's speed it up just a little bit and see how Damasi gets out of this. If he gets out of this. But those but those groups of units have made their way, and I and I like that poker face. Reclaim your opponent's base. Damasi's ACU has regenerated to about eleven thousand. Coming close to 12,000. Now let's slow it down when there's a little engagement to zero. Tomasi, you need to micro all the things. He's going to probably get his base bombed off. No, no, it was an air engagement. I don't know who's going to win that one. The Wasp has a little... No, the We Do Booth has a little bit more health. It appears that we do both. The uh, Poker Faces Air Force is definitely winning out on that one. Yeah, that is very unfortunate. And uh, Ballistic Grunt re finally got a recording bomb off on me. Every time I'm online, he's always recording bomb. Yeah, you got it this time. Cut it out, dude. Um, and Damasi, Control K's. Boom! And it appears Poker Face is moving on to the the finals. Congratulations, Poker Face. Very well played there, Damasi. You were playing you were against a very good opponent. Not to say that you were you are a very good opponent. Not to say that you aren't a good opponent, but you, you are an excellent player, but Dema Poker Face just won this time. Very well played, both players. Thank you very much for the excellent game. And uh, as always GG's everyone, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you want any replay casted, drop me a line at stillspeaks at gmail.com, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching, and GG's!